Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Lynette Caldwell joining us here again, a woman who wears many hats, as you can see if you're on the live Zoom. The main thing is behind her. That's just one of her companies. Uh, there's so much to this entrepreneur today. Uh, welcome back. How are you? Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I am great. I was living vicariously through you. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, I got to go on a little vacation to Greece with the kids. So much fun. Um, have, hey. What have you done? Anything exciting? I have not done anything yet, but let me tell you something. This weekend is Ava, my granddaughter's eighth birthday. So uh-huh. we expect to, uh, we're going to Funplex. You ever been to Funplex in um, New Jersey? What is it called? Funplex. No, is that is that the place of the American Dream Mall? No, that's she went there last year. That's oh, a different. Okay. Yeah, so she's going to Fun Flex where they have um, they have a pool, they have bowling, they have um, some kind of foam balls, they have go karting, bumper cars, things of that nature. But I'm sure she's going to be in the pool most of the time. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool! Exciting. <laughs> What, where then, town, what town is that in? Just curious. Um, yeah, where is it? It's, um, I forgot. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'll think. I got to look that. it up for my kids. We're not that far. I'm on Long Island. You know that. So awesome. Cool. Yeah, that is that is a fun one for her. And then we're going to Sesame Place also because she has a little baby sister that loved Elmo just as much as Ava did when she was that age. So uh, we're going to do that one too. Great. Well, welcome back to the show. Exciting to have you here. Uh, please introduce yourself to everyone. Absolutely. My name is Lynette Caldwell, and I am the proud owner of the main thing, um, hair wellness products, and um, Nan is putting in other deliciousness. And I am also a mindset, biz, and wealth practitioner. I help people orient their mind around money and help uh, coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs scale their businesses. Wow, wow, wow. There's <laughs> a lot too. And it's been a few weeks. Any updates on any of your work and progress and accolades with Amazon? Anything happening? That's so funny you should ask because I was looking, remember I was in on Amazon, I'm in the Black Accelerator program, right? So with that being said, they said they'll give you like $500 towards your ads on um, Amazon. Well, they gave me $3,000. What? Yes. That's amazing. That is amazing. And I am so appreciative. And um, my products are really doing well on there. It's just been a short period of time. And I'm having to refill often now because you know the products are really doing well in there so i'm very excited i'm proud of the black accelerator program you know everything is really um coming to you know what they said they didn't they didn't sell dreams they said what they said and they did wow. it. <laughs> and for those new to the show today tell us about the main thing and what type of products are we talking about for our hair okay so the main thing of course this is the shampoo this is the black silky hair shampoo it's a hair wellness system that i created because i was having hair problems so um all the ingredients are all natural they're um organic so you don't have to worry about chemicals and bar- uh, parabens and things like that to damage your hair so um this is the baby elixir. This okay. is for children. This is for like newborn babies to help with cradle cap, little children, and adults who have um, sensitive scalp. And this is the baby that started growing my hair back and helping me um, close up some of the bald spots that I was having. This is the Miracle Hair Growth Elixir. So this one is really, I really stand by because I used this one first. And then this is the biotin boost. So biotin is good for your hair. It's, it's extra strength. So it's really, really good. And I wanted to show you this newer cap. I know you I know you want these caps so bad. And you shall, you shall have one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this one is, is silver. How cute is this, right? That is beautiful. And tell us about the benefits of putting your hair at night in one of those silk caps. Oh, a satin cap every night will help keeping the moisture of your hair because if your hair is not moisturized and it's out and cotton just starts to break off. So that's not what we want. We want to keep it moisturized and, you know, sleep in a bonnet. And this is a a double-sided bonnet 
that um, I send with certain orders that come my way. And then this is our wide tooth comb because you want to keep, you know, you don't want your hair to fall out. You either can comb through with your fingers or you can use this comb right here. This is a really cool comb. People are really excited when they get these. I got a couple of um, orders and I got feedback already. As soon as they got the products, they were giving me feedback. So I appreciate that. And this is the bag that it comes in. Love it, love it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Grow, Restore, Renew your hair. This is a whole system that people can buy. They can buy all four products or they can buy one. It'll, it doesn't really matter, but you have to start somewhere. And I, if I had to choose which one to start with, I would get the Miracle Hair Growth Elixir and the Black Silky Shampoo together to start it out. And this started because of your own personal problem with yes. your hair right could you tell us yes um well about three years ago i was in an accident i stopped going to work so i wasn't wearing wigs and weaves anymore and i started to look at my hair girl my hair was just falling out it, as soon as i touched it it was shedding it was dry mm -hmm. it had full spots i'm like what the heck is going on and I started to, you know, buy products to try to fix it. And when I got the products, I realized that nothing was working. So I started doing research on what I should do to combat the problems I was having. And I looked up every single problem I was having and I saw various ingredients that will combat that. So I used the Ayurvedic um, ingredients, which is an Indian um medicine is medicinal that they use even not just for hair but for health and I use a lot of those ingredients in my products and I started to see my hair come back in a lot of places it didn't completely repair but it's better than what it was so that's how I know that these products really do work I was really excited to see the comeback and then I started to learn about you know why these products in the stores where I'm working for me and a lot of them have chemicals in there and I have thin hair so mm -hmm. chemicals are not good for people with thin hair as you said you have thin hair so you kind of realize that you know that's that's not going to work it's it's not going to um help me out so wow. I to do that and I just in November I started to launch the product um I'm, I just got on Amazon I'll say like January, February, something like that. And then, you know, so I'm just really, the, the product is still a baby. You know how you nurture your baby and your real baby. So this is a baby for me. And it's starting to develop. People are starting to know about it and really starting to appreciate it. I did get a, um, uh, a review from a woman in Pakistan. She uh, oh, put wow. a review. Age. Yeah. So I was really excited about that because it's not just for one culture, any woman, anybody, not even just women, a family can use these products, man, woman, child. <laughs> and you can use the shampoo for your pets as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can definitely do that. OK, so now she has the main thing. Um, she's helping people with their hair, helping people all over the world. And then she's also feeding people. <laughs> Explain <laughs> this. Nana's pudding. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Okay. Yeah. Nana, hmm, that's a labor of love in itself. That is my main baby. And so funny, I, I just got an order for a baby shower for a hundred, um, you know, individual cups of pudding for their guests. And I'm so excited about this because, you know, it's, it's been a while because, like I said, I've been repairing. So it's been a while and people are still asking about Nana's pudding. So, like I said, Costco just reached out. Um, there's a theater and the theater district, the Zigfield Theater. I just looked at those videos the other day, how they were really devouring <laughs> all the products that I took for the uh, tasting. Um, I pitched to HSN. So, you know, there are a lot of people who are interested in Nana's pudding and for good reasons. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. And and what I know you can't tell us the ingredients of Nana's pudding, but what makes it so special? Say it. Well, first, the love. It's the love. It's the love in that pudding. It, it's the love. You should see me when I'm making it. 
I'm just in another world. Are you still able to make it like in your regular kitchen? Or do you have a facility at this point? Like how big is the production? Well, I can use, um, well, when I'm doing a big production, there's a, a kitchen at, um, there's a college nearby that I can use their kitchen to do a, a big production. But because I was not feeling well and I wasn't doing well, I haven't been doing large productions like that in a while. So, but to handle others in the past, that's what I was doing. And that's how I was handling it. Amazing. And Nana's pudding consists of what type of uh, food it's pudding? And is there bananas? Is there chocolate? What's in it? There's vanilla pudding. Mm, delicious. My mouth is watering <laughs> just thinking about it. It's um, vanilla wafers and it's bananas. Oh and my gosh. all that together. And it just, it's like a, a kiss to your tummy. I can't it's wait. I'm, I'm waiting for that to try. <laughs> I don't, oh, there goes the camera. I love it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yes. See you it. please, please send me some and send me a cap. Send me a cap and, <laughs> and bananas pudding. Oh my God. And your Nana's pudding. I love bananas. Um, yeah. I want to try it so bad. Some people like the, um, what is it? The chestnut cookies, but I don't think that complements the pudding as well as vanilla wafers because the chestnuts are butter cookies. Mm. And vanilla wafers are vanilla, which complements the pudding. And there's a technique to putting it together. You can't just throw that together. I mean, I've seen somebody, some other people's pudding, and it is, you can't just throw that together. You have to layer it and know how it goes together. So that is really a technique. In and itself. how many years have you been making this for? And is it like a hand-me-down recipe from, like, your grandma? Or is it? Actually, no. Like, I... I used to love banana pudding so much. And my aunt, God bless her soul, Aunt Julia, used to make it for me. And then, you know, as time went by, she stopped making it. So I used to try to buy it from various stores and it was never up to par. So what do you do when you can't find a product? Like I did with the hair product. You go in the kitchen and you start experimenting yourself. And I just perfected it. I mean, I was just putting it together, putting it together. And how you know that you got something people every time you have requested to come to it can you bring some nana's pudding like people are licking the pan and licking their plates <laughs> and their fingers yeah yeah they doing everything so you know all right i'm going to something i have something here and i never thought of it as a business prospect because i wasn't thinking in that way but when people start to say well you know I'll pay you. Can you bring some pudding to this event or that event? And then you start to know, hey, that's a business. That's that's a business. That's something. That and what money. year? What year did that start? Um, this started the business aspect started, and just before my granddaughter was born, twenty fourteen. Okay, that's when it started to get sink into my mind that all right, there is a huge demand for this yeah. because I for my daughter's baby shower and I did it as you know uh, a baby food jar like yeah and it's putting baby food. little favor oh how cute yeah, so and um he was like whoa I didn't get one I didn't get one and the to the big deal about it is when they started to prepay me to do other things that I'd never done before either can you make me some cupcakes can you make me a pie and, I mean they just had the greatest confidence in me more so than I had in myself. So because I had these people money, I had to, you know, get in the kitchen and start yeah. different things to make sure I came complete on what they paid me for. And that's how it all started. So I would say yeah. my biggest sellers, I'm sorry, my biggest sellers are the banana pudding jars, the banana pudding cheesecake, the banana pudding cake, and sweet potato pie. Wow. Now, did this come before the main thing? Yeah, the main thing is a baby. That's it's a baby. Even, that started. Like, mm -hmm. yet. Um, the Nana's pudding is almost eight like Ava. <laughs> yeah, good, good. And the, but before this, before you became an entrepreneur, were you a coach? Well, I've been a coach all my life. I told you people, um, elderly, um, family members would come to me for advice for all kinds of things. And, 
you know, they wouldn't make a move before they would ask me, what do I think about a situation? How would I handle a situation? Or what do I do in this situation? So I was a coach before I even knew what a coach was. And then I started to hone in on those skills as well, because that's just who I am as far as coaching is concerned. That's something, that's kind of the only business that I'm not surprised at. You know, the other ones, I could not cook when I was younger. I was a late bloomer in terms of cooking. So who would think I would have a bakery? My hair was like very thin and it wasn't all that fancy, but who would think I would come mm-hmm. up with hair wellness products? So, you know, that's just God putting a super on my natural, <laughs> the supernatural um, thing. So yeah, I, I would say that I've been doing this for a while. Also, when I was younger, about 10 years old, I used to braid hair. And people used to pay me, so I used to start, I used to braid hair then. So wow. that was that I was doing, you know, at at a young age. Wow! And uh, what type of coaching do you do? My, I focus more on mindset because mindset is first and foremost is it's the way we progress in life. It's how we move along and um, adjust ourselves. I I feel that self development should be a prerequisite for living like you should I see I was thinking the other day how do people start you know when they get it they still act like they in high school and they so much older you know but people just stop growing Mm -hmm. they don't you know protect themselves mentally they don't really move forward in the mentality area because that's what's going to propel you to different areas in life so once I focus on mindset and then i for those who are interested in starting a business, I let them know that, you know, these are the things you can do if you, you know, change your mindset around it because you can't keep trading dollars for hours all the time. If yeah. that's not, now everybody are not entrepreneurs. Let's, let's just be clear about it. But some people, I mean, you have boys, you can easily write an ebook about working and handling your boys or doing things in life. That's, that's a, uh, uh, money generator right there. Yeah. We were talking about that, the ebook program. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for that. And a lot of people have been doing that. My goodness. Yeah. You you can definitely do things in the entrepreneurial spirit and still keep your job if that's what one wants to do. But if one wants to be an entrepreneur, I you know, I like to help cultivate their minds around that. And then we talk about wealth. Well, I, I, it's so funny before we called, I was trying to hurry up because I do um, a money mindset Monday video. And I, because I'm going to have such an active weekend, I just did the video <laughs> just before. we ah. called. <laughs> And today's topic, what, well, Monday's topic will be about investing. You know, there's apps that you can use to invest on. You can't just leave your money in the bank and think it's going to work. You know, you just leave losing money just sitting in the bank. So there's apps that you can use to um, invest, you know, um, Acorn, even Cash App. Cash App has an investment um, aspect. E-Trade, Robinhood, a lot of different things. You can buy property, multi-family properties, invest in it. And then you can live in there for free. Once you get enough tenants in there, you know, you you can live in there for free. You don't have to even pay if you're doing it the right way. So it's about bringing up people's minds and helping them think a little differently about their own worth and wealth. Now, tell me how you got here. Uh, For those out there, new listeners, you know, how did you get this entrepreneurial spirit? Were you born with it? Was it something you always had? I had to be born with it um, because I, I, we talked about this before. I don't have anybody in my family that you emulated yeah mentor, right or mentor or anyone who i can say like oh i want to be like that i've always fantasized about living you know a, a lifestyle or in a place that was really fancy now i'm gonna be honest with you my family came from the tenements and the projects so for me to get my first place or my every place i've lived has always been like a townhouse or you know nice dwelling you worked hard yeah right but i'm just saying that the, the vision ethic yeah mm-hmm. so, you know sometimes when you grow up in a family household life you kind of emulate mm-hmm. 
successful, I may get the next project apartment or I may, you know, I'm just mm-hmm. looking. I just thought differently and I didn't really have anybody to um, say that, oh, I want to be like that person. So it has to be something I was born with. Well, it's pretty <laughs> impressive. And are you mentoring anyone? I mean, because clearly you're inspiring so many people. Um, yeah, to take under your yeah. wing. I do have, I told you, um, I have a mentorship. I have a six month mentorship. It's a money mindset magnetist mentorship. Mm -hmm. We talk about different, I mean, we have different exercises. We have journaling, meditations. We talk about money, the anatomy of money. But most importantly, we talk about how to, who are you? You know, it's mask off because we are continually being introduced to the world and sometimes we come in as who we think we should be. Yeah. We want the world to see us as, and some people are not comfortable with just being themselves and whoever that is, because that will help you in your business if you are more authentic. So I, I work on that. And then we start to talk about marketing and sales and things of that nature. And then I explain to them, how I got into the businesses I got into and how I got on certain platforms so that, you know, the black accelerator program, you know, you have to be. And how did you apply for that? Yeah. Your tenacity. Tell me about this. How were you well, pitching you, your products to Costco? Tell me about this. You know, the, the black accelerator program. So this is the thing about me. I like to attract things. I don't, I don't like to assert things in some ways, you know, Attracting things of people coming to you. Um, a certain things is like you're calling them and you're trying to get here and you're trying to get there. I usually don't take that route. So the Black Accelerator Program, they called me. They actually called me on the phone and said, we see your products and we want to know if you want to be a part of this program. They explained what the program is and then they gave me steps to go through to apply. Once I applied, I was accepted. And then they told me some of the benefits, which I was telling you was like $500 to do um, the ads on Amazon. Yeah. And then, um, I was doing an event. Um, BET Her was part of an event that I was doing because for Nana's Pudding, I was, you know, I would go to events, I would sell the uh, products and then it's be like an empowerment event. HSN happened to be there. You had to have pitched or signed up to pitch in advance. I only learned about this this event like maybe two to three days <laughs> before I joined. So um, they were there. I just said, I'm going and I did and I pitched <laughs> and they were very impressed with the products. Yeah. And also Costco, they reached out to me as well because I'm on a platform called, um, what is this platform? Um, I forgot. I have to think about it as we're talking, but they sent me um, on this particular platform, they sent me a message and told wow. me that I'm interested. So it's about just doing your daily stuff, getting out there. And once you kind of plant in certain areas, you know, you, you see how it goes, but you continue to do the things that you need to do to put your business and your products and your services out there. So that's how they reached out to me. Mostly wow. all of them. Wow. About the Ziegfeld Theater is, I had done an event with one of the employees and she kept coming back and asking me to do a cake for somebody's birthday, another cake for somebody's birthday. Man is putting for certain events until the person that she wanted the cake for asked me, could you please ask her to ask me to come in and do um, a tasting? So wow. <laughs> yeah so it's about believing in yourself putting your work in your products and then you know just going step by step and and figuring it out from there and then people see you, you people don't realize that people are watching they, they see what you're doing and they want to know about it so i am really happy about how things have been going with all this stuff wow so proud of you. So exciting. My goodness. So what's next for you? Um, I'm, I'm just still out here doing, doing my thing. Like I said, the mentorship is really what I am working on and grinding because, like I said, 
it's not just for me, it's for others. And I want to see others grow and blossom just as well. I want to see people's businesses do well. And I want to help people navigate through these processes because everybody can do it. There's plenty of money out there, right? We can all make yeah. money and, and do things. So I, the mentorship is really where it's at. I mean, I talk to people all the time. They have like, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I don't know. And once we change that mindset around, opportunities are all around us. Just look around. You have so many opportunities. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. So you just have to stay focused. It's so funny that um, there are still people around me, directly around me, who don't get it. So you'd be like, wow, you're preaching and teaching this, and there's people around you who don't get it, but the enlightened are the enlightened. So if you don't get it, that's over them. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Let me define it. Okay, so we're back. I don't know who that was, but. Um, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> it's all about. Um, put it out there and who grabs it grabs how do you it. wake up do you wake up early do you have any rituals do you Let meditate me you. do you visualize what is it about you that well, makes you yeah all of the above first of all i'm not a morning person so i would not recommend okay you know how people say oh you got to get up six o'clock in the morning you have to meditate who is this calling me <laughs> <laughs> you i don't I, I don't do that i like to naturally wake up whenever i wake up because I, uh, I, I go to sleep very late anyway. But when I do, I do have a meditation process. I have discipline. I'm so glad you asked that because I do some journaling. I do meditation. I do visualization. And I answer questions like, who am I? Who do I want to show up as today? What am I doing today? How, you know, what are my affirmations? I do affirmations um, at the end of the night. I'm forgiving people. We gotta, we gotta forgive, and we have to move on. And sometimes that list goes on and on. <laughs> sure it I'm does. Also, <laughs> I'm also um, affirming the things that I desire and how things should should look in my life. And I'm I'm showing like, was I happy today? Was I disappointed? What happened? What made things happen? What could I do tomorrow to make things better? Yeah. These are the things that I do every morning and every day. I listen to positive audios. Um, I read somewhat, but I rather listen to audios because I like to move around and hear things in my in my head while I'm doing things. So I do that, and um, that's how my day and my nights go. Oh, wonderful! Well, let's remind the listeners how we can reach out to you. Okay, like I said, my name is Lynette Caldwell. I am on Instagram as the main things with an S on the end. I am also at Lynette Caldwell and at Nana's Pudding underscore. I can my number is 917-774-8116. My uh, website is the main thing.com. That's M-A-N-E-T-H-A-N-G dot com. The main thing. Perfect. Looking forward to seeing you again, talking to you again. And uh, thank you. Enjoy your day and stay cool. All right. Okay. Thank you. We'll try to here. We're in a heat wave. Yeah. (laughs) Yay. Right. Have a good day, hon. Bye bye. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. 
This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.